Well, hello, everyone. It is time for What's in the Pod coming to you live from Crescent City Gumbo Studios. I am Dominique. This is my friend, my little voodoo dog guy right here. Just wanted to pop in and say hello. How y'all feeling out there? Uh, it was nice having the temperature, I don't know, about a degree and a half cooler than usual. You can feel it real well in the breeze and all kinds of uh, just amazing things have been happening today. So uh, we're going to get into this list right now. Here is your list of daily ingredients for the week. And our main ingredient today is Sake and sushi by one of my favorite, all time favorite New Orleans musicians, Mr. Jamie St. Pierre. This is also live at B Max. This is recorded live at B Max in New Orleans. Mr. Jamie St. Pierre with Sake and Kisses. And uh, here is your list. Enjoy. Jimmy, Jimmy. This dude's got so much soul, it's unreal. If you haven't seen Jamie St. Pierre live, make it a point to get out and go do it. He is fantastic. you're paying attention to that scrolling list there. Make plans for this weekend, everybody. Oh, yes it is, Jimmy. Great entertainer, great performer, Great musician and an all-around good guy. Happy Jimmy.
And I'm sorry, and sure, Jamie don't mind either. What's up, Mark? Jamie St. Pierre all over the internet. He's got some great music out there. I uh, I typically just listen to his stuff on YouTube. And, I, and you know what? Every now and then, I will go back to the day that he came into the studio and we did our interview. He played a lot of that, a lot of his stuff acoustic, and uh, and we we jammed out. It was a lot of fun. Uh, he's such a cool guy, really fun to talk to. And I'm looking forward to getting him back in the studio as soon as we can to chat and do some more fun stuff. You know what I'm saying? So. Jimmy McDonald was in the studio not too long ago, and Jimmy's in a new project, and I'm really looking forward to see how that goes because they did an absolute awesome job. I'm not going to give give away too much information there, but uh, they 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 worked well together. Uh, some really good musicians. Oh, actually, well, let's just say two really good musicians were there, and one really good vocalist that kind of had a paramour kind of feel. She was really really good. So we're going to give out more information as we get it, and it's it's cleared cleared by the tower because uh you never know we don't we don't want to upset anybody we don't let we don't want to let anything out too soon but uh you know it's what we do here right so how's everybody feeling what's going on on this tuesday well <sighs> we got our uh shower redone today we got a brand new shower in the house um not many of you will get to experience that because i don't want most of y'all in my freaking house anyway but uh, almost everybody that's chimed in has been in my house. So I guess uh, I guess that's a, a horrible thing for me to say. But you know what? You guys are always welcome to come. Uh, the studio is always open. Uh, my dog isn't around anymore to clear any visitors into the house. So I have to try to do my best to um, pick and choose who gets to go inside the house. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Cranston, Cranston was on top of that when he was around. My poor puppy's gone now. But you know what? We'll, I'll sniff your butt and find out if you're good enough to get inside. You know what I'm saying? So we have a whole bunch of shows coming up, a whole bunch of them. And uh, I was just noticing that there's a lot more than, um, than what I see. And I was talking to a couple friends of mine, asking them, sometimes I don't see the events. And uh, even though I respond to them, and then I respond and I say interested, and I put my email address in there, and it should pop up on the calendar. And it does sometimes. And then sometimes it pops up on my events. And I look at all of those and I go through and I make sure they're all on the list. And I do that. And then I look around, you know, just go scrolling. And I'm like, bam, there's something new. Like, how did I miss that? And I was on the phone. I was actually talking to um, to good old Lightning from Discreet. He swung by today. I had to chat with him a little bit. And he says, um, he's like, yeah, oh, yeah, we're playing this weekend. I'm like, wait, I know that. But. I, f I didn't see the event. He's like, well, and but uh, Nate, drummer. Hey, what's up, Martin Felix? How you doing? Nate, the drummer from The Screech, uh, actually told me. He's like, you responded to the event. I was like, yeah, but where did it go? Because a lot of times I'm, I'll be on my phone, driving, sitting in the waiting room, wherever, doing whatever. And uh, I, I, I trust and I count on my clicks and my responses and my interests in events to show up later on. So sometimes... Sometimes Facebook gets it mixed up, or I get it mixed up, or we both, we, I, I don't know. It just disappears, like, poof, and it's gone. So um, I apologize, like, uh, I, I apologize if, uh, if I miss out on any of your events, but I try to get them all. I do my best, I do my best, I do my best. I do avoid some, uh, some um, e events, some venues, like the really, really big stuff that have, uh, like, um, lots of money to spend on advertisement and promotion. 
the whole point of Crescent City Gumbo is to make it easier for the little guys, the little people, the, the, the not-so-big bands, the not-so-well-recognized bands to advertise, to get to get the word out about what they got going on. And I, I just blame it on me. You know what, Martin? It's your fault, buddy, and I appreciate that. I think uh, Martin and I missed our um, – our uh, uh, astral projection, and we went like right by each other out in the universe somewhere, and we didn't, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, okay. But, um, you know, Crescent City Gumbo is about helping the little guy, about helping the the local guys, and not just local here in New Orleans or around where I live, but local everywhere. If if you're a local band in, I don't know, Slovakia, and you, you're looking to get get a name for yourself. You want to get some more word out about what you do and what, why you do it, where you are, where you play. Uh, try to get some more people interested in coming to your shows. That's what we're here for. That's what Crescent City Gumbo does. If you want to come play live in Crescent City Gumbo, do a live broadcast, uh, we're open. We're ready to give it a shot, see what we can do. We have a bunch of people that want to do it, but uh, they never, you know, they never solidify a date. So it's not always my fault that we don't have people in here. But, you know, sometimes people just don't decide that when they want to come. But if a band does, if a band reaches out and says, hey, we'd like to play this Saturday, and then the, that Friday they find out that they can book a gig to make some money that next Saturday, I'm all, well, that's fine. It's no big deal. You're not going to upset me because this Crescent City Gumbo is not about me, okay, because this is about you guys. It's about helping you guys. If I – if if I'm not in here watching a live band, I'll be out in Metairie, New Orleans, Chalmette, wherever, in Baton Rouge, watching a live band, possibly going live. You never know. So I'm going to get out and do what I can. Uh, I haven't been out lately. This past weekend, I didn't go out at all, which is pretty weird. But I plan on doing something tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow night as well. I will be t- making a trek to Chalmette tomorrow during the day. Uh, hopefully fairly early, get out in Chalmette, go to Battlefield Bar. Since we upgraded the sound system to something like, boom, we want to upgrade the lighting to something like, boom, and try to make it, you know, the whole experience awesome for everybody when they go to the battlefield, which we are doing. They're talking to electricians. We want to um, separate all the circuits so where, uh, you know, the stage, the, the PA, the PA has their own circuits, lighting has their own circuits, and stage is separated, separate. They, they do have a lot of power at Battlefield, a lot of, a lot of separate circuits out there, but we want to we wanna, uh, isolate those, uh, like, PA circuits and stage circuits and stuff like that. So it'll be a better experience for not just you, the performer, but you, the patron, you, the people in the audience, and you and me and everybody else that wants to go hang out in a really cool club and a really awesome bar with a really big stage and a really nice light show and see some really awesome bands that's what it's all about that's what we're trying to do so if you got any plans if you got any plans you going out getting out going do anything fun this weekend let me know you never know we might be able to meet you i think um saturday night i know i got I, uh, um uh, let's see tomorrow night uh tomorrow night uh we don't have a whole lot going on tonight but there's open mic at the battlefield bar i see that what's up brent miller my cousin what's happening all right tomorrow night we got the two Scots in Mandeville, Steve Burke in Mandeville, Phase 5 at Whiskey Cowboy, Justin Melanson at D-Max, Fabulous Von Zippers at Marshroom, Discreet, Elysian, and Manuscript at Santos in New Orleans. Manuscript played live in the studio here not too long ago. I was really happy with what they sounded like. They're a really good band. They're playing tomorrow night with Discreet, Elysian. I don't know a whole bunch about Elysian, but I, um, I really want to go to that show. And I'm trying to figure out how to make it work so where I can go to that show tomorrow night and broadcast live with a handful of cameras to, you know, show. Because Discreet, Discreet has been in the studio a hundred times. Discreet has been here a hundred times. Manuscript one time. And uh, I want to get out there and it'd be nice to go do something on a different night. And I've never been to Santos. I, I've heard good things. I've heard mixed reviews. Uh, I mean, about Santos, but I because the Screech and Manuscript are out there and Elysian, I want to help them out as much as possible. So we're gonna possibly head out to New Orleans tomorrow night and uh, catch some uh, some Screech. You know, some of that Screech. You know what I'm saying? And that'd be great. So I'll be hurting Thursday for sure. Thursday I'll wake up and probably not want to get out of bed because I will be in physical pain. That's what I do. I beat myself up. But then Thursday, let's see Thursday. We got a few really good things happening. Of course, Third Street's playing at Ruin Brew. Brandon Menard at La Coretta in Laplace. Lowdown is in Thibodeau. Cassie and Johnny at Judo's. Jude, oh, not Judo, like oh, Judo. No, 
No, it's Jude O's in Homa. Not familiar with that place, but I, you know, we'll find out a little bit as soon as we can. Feel the Magic will be at Androgyny in Homa at 7 tomorrow night as well. Um, I mean, Thursday night, Thursday night. Discreet. I love Discreet, Martin, and I know you do too. So, man, that's awesome. Um, Feel the Magic at Androgyny. That's like a male review kind of thing. If you want to go see some hunky beefcake men with washboard abs, don't come hang out with me because I don't got none of that. But Androgyny does. There you go. Androgyny's going to be having it tomorrow night, uh, Thursday night, sorry. And then um, DJ Shawnee D, my buddy, is going to be tearing it up at the Backyard Bar in Chalmette. It's line dancing night every Thursday night at the Backyard Bar. Justin Melanson will be at Loft 18 in Metairie at 7.30 uh, Thursday night as well. I haven't been to Loft 18 yet. I hear wonderful things about it as well. I've heard more good things than I have bad. I, honestly, I don't even remember if I heard anything bad about Loft 18. If you know anything about Loft 18 that might uh, surprise me, please let me know. Please let us know. We'll chat about it. And then, of course, Friday. Oh, my goodness. We got like, let's see, one. I've got like 23 events on the list already for Friday. Saturday, it looks like about 25, 26. So much going on. The list will be available for you to peruse later on. Uh, if you didn't notice, when I post the videos, I always put the list in the description so you don't actually have to watch the video and put up with this um, or, you know. But it's always there, and then I repost it on YouTube. I have it on YouTube with the uh, same list in the description. The same show that we're watching right now is on YouTube. So if you want to go back and revisit it, please go to YouTube. Go give us a like and a subscribe on YouTube. We're trying to get our numbers up. The higher our numbers get on YouTube, the better off things are going to be. We'll be able to produce more things for YouTube. YouTube's got, you know, got kind of got a cap, I guess. Once you get to a certain point, they let you do different things. Let you do new things. Let you do better things. And we're trying to get there. I know I'm not putting out the best content, but I tell you what, it's good stuff. It's good content because it's all about what's happening around us. If we're looking for something to do, if we need something to do, the list is always there. I find my, myself referring to the list quite often because people ask me, hey, man, who's playing Friday night? I'm like, I don't freaking know. It's like 100 shows this weekend. What am I? So I, I go, look it, go look it up and I just, you know, hey, look, here it is. Read it, read it, read it, read it. And uh, it's, always, it's always good to pay attention because there's a lot of stuff happening. And uh, let's see. Who did I? I wanted to go see. Uh, there's a couple of shows I really want to go to Friday night, but I doubt I'm going to make it to any of them. Like Monkey Fist. Monkey Fist. If you've seen Monkey Fist, they're awesome, right? But their acoustic set is even better. I love Monkey Fist acoustic. And they're playing uh, Friday night at 7 over at um, La Casa, La Casa del Sol in Homa. They'll be playing. Uh, Joven Webb's playing at Bottle and Tab. But Awaken the Giant, Silver Tongue, Love the Hate uh, are all playing at the Juke Joint in Ocean Springs. I would love to go to that show, but I probably won't. I probably can't, but let's see. Uh, Groovy 7. Groovy Seven's a great band. They're playing at Rock and Bowl at 8.30 Friday night. Monster Crawfish is right around the corner in Dextrahan. If you're in St. Charles Parish and you don't want to drive out to Metairie, you don't want to drive out to Kenner, you don't want to go to New Orleans, you want to go, ha go see some live music, Boomerangs typically has stuff. Um, Pit Stop right across the river right there from me uh, has stuff all the time. So great shows, lots of fun stuff to do around here. There's no reason to stay home. And let's see, who else is playing? Uh, I, uh, who else? Who else? I know there's another really good show going on Friday night. Maybe I maybe I didn't add it. Catchbacks at Spotlight in Metairie. That's another great band. Um, Shenanigans is throwing down. Let's see. Swinging doors at the Marsh Room. Marsh Room's always got something going on too. But then Saturday, Saturday's going to be even more difficult for me because the 17th is a night of amazingness all over the place. Marsh, Drab, and Dead Savage are playing at the Hideaway Den in Mandeville. I still haven't been to the Hideaway Den, but all the clouds are taken are playing, is playing at Twist of Lime and Metairie with Pixel Creep and Pale Devil Sun. All three bands I absolutely love. Lost in the 60s at the Max Lounge in Metairie. If you're old like me, you could appreciate some of that older music. They play some really fun stuff. They're a really good band. And uh, my son's fiance's father plays in that band as well. Really good band, a lot of fun. Always, always throwing down whenever they play. Really good. They always dance, and everybody dances. From that, you know, that those eras, the era where everyone grew up dancing, it doesn't happen anymore. Now it's like these little, uh, you know, butt-shaking, twerking stuff, which is kind of cool for its own right. But, you know, like the real dancing where you're swinging people around, having fun, having fun, not uh, getting vulgar or humping each other all over the dance floor and stuff. It's all good. What's up, Mike Regan? Thanks for joining us, buddy. Uh, let's see. But we also got Constricted. Constricted is playing in Baton Rouge with Gloomkeeper and Decayer. 
So, I mean, you got all everything you need. Like, Soul Giant, Endure endure the Affliction, and Discreets are playing at the Marshroom. But if I go see Discreets tomorrow night, I'll probably not go to that show. But I really want to go see Soul Giant, Endure the Affliction, and, of course, Discreets. Let's see who else is playing. Silverdose is playing. Um, where is Silverdose playing? I know I have him here somewhere. Geez, there's Silverdose, Vetus, and Back Reel at Battlefield and Chalmet. That Battlefield's my my bar. That's where I go. That's where I go hang out. That's my default spot. It's a long drive to be a default spot, but that's my default spot. I love that freaking place. That's why I go. Um, let's see what else. Uh, Rock Show Nola's at Southport. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Monkey Fist is playing at Daiquiri's and Company in LaRose. That's the electric set, but they're absolutely awesome either way. Six Gun Solution. I haven't seen Six Gun Solution in a long time, and they're playing at the Hitch. Okay, I'm not going to make it to the Hitch, but I really want to go see Six Gun Solution. They're playing at the Hitch in Pontchartula at 9 p.m. Yeah, you right. Okay, yeah, you right. That's another amazing, fantastic band. Yeah, you right. at Park Place in Gonzales at 9:30, and then India Sherry's at Androgyny and Homa. And Androgyny and Homa starts the party a little bit later. So if you're looking for something to do after hours, maybe swing by Androgyny. They're starting that show at 11 p.m. Of course, we got some Sunday shows Monday, and then Friday, next Friday, the 23rd, we got Motor Riot at J&K Bar in New Orleans at 8:30, and Silverdose is having their CD release party at Park Place in Gonzales with them guys at 9:30. How am I supposed to do this? Get to all these shows. It's absolutely awesome. I actually um, I'll be going to that Motor Riot show because they asked if I'd go broadcast live for them. Uh, many uh, as soon as they got the gig. It's like a couple months ago, the guy's like, hey, man, what's up, man? You want to go? Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, sure, I can do that. Whatever you said, I can do it. Right, we'll make it happen. So what's everybody doing, man? I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. This is um, this has been a crazy week. Sinners from Ashes Within and No End in Sight in Gulfport. I thought I had that on here. You know what? I'm going to do a control F. Uh, I, I talk about, I try to talk about Sinners. There we go. I do have it on there. From Ashes Within, No End in Sight, and Sinner's Revival at the hot spot in Gulfport at 8 p.m. My cousins are going to be in freaking Gulfport. I like Gulfport. I like the hot spot. Really cool place, really small place, very intimate. Um, but you know what? I'm not going to be able to make it. From Ashes Within, great band. No End in Sight, that's Kerry Thibodeau's uh, second band. Uh, I want to say second band because he, he he's not singing in it. He's not the front man in it. He plays guitar, and he can shred. I didn't realize he could shred like that. Go with Matt David. He makes he makes most shows. Matt David does make a lot of those shows. I tell you what. But um, unfortunately, uh, I, I you know I haven't heard from him in a while. I'll reach out. That's a great idea, Martin. I'll reach out to him and see what he's up to. Maybe uh, maybe we can uh, maybe, maybe we can meet. I haven't seen him in a couple of weeks. So uh, I used to see him almost every yeah, well, almost every week. I was going to say almost every night, but I used to see him a couple times a week. So yeah, we can we we, we can make something happen for sure. Anybody got any other plans? Uh, anything fun happening? Let's see. What am I? What else am I doing? I'm gonna be working at Battlefield Bar, working on the light show. I already mentioned that, but it's worth mentioning again. We're gonna be tearing that up. I mean, we're gonna we're we're trying to go big over there. Um, got much bigger sound over there. Um, I took the I took the powered Mackies out of there, and uh, we we replaced it with some uh, big power amps and some big speakers. You know, big PA speakers like like you need in a big club like that. The Mackies were just to buy time, and it they worked. And they sounded great. They weren't loud enough in some cases. But, you know, hey, it, they, they, they did what they were supposed to do. And guess what? It's better now. It's a lot better now. And uh, they've, been, they've been having fun with that system over there. So I get to go hang out with them tomorrow and work on lights. The whole intention of me going tomorrow is to work on lights. I will not. I'm going to have to repeat this to myself 100 times. I will not mess with the audio. Just lights. No audio. Okay. So I'll try to remember that because I will get caught up in it, and um, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna mess with my head. And then Crescent uh, Crescent City Gumbo Special is still happening at Battlefield Bar. They do that every day. If you want a two dollar draft, you go to Battlefield and say, "Hey, give me the Crescent City Gumbo Special," and they'll say, "Okay." Just don't tell them what kind of beer you want because they will surprise you. Uh, it's different every time it seems. So. Let's see. What else? We got crabs. Who's been boiling crabs lately? I noticed that the Battlefield Bar has been boiling crabs every Sunday just about. What are the crabs looking like? I haven't had Ricky Frazier. What's up, buddy? I haven't had any boiled crabs in a long time, and I love me some boiled crabs. If anybody has had some recently, let me know because uh, I, I love crabs. They're delicious. They're fantastic. They're amazing, and I miss crabs. I, I, 
I've been trying to uh, work it out so where I can have at least one day a week where uh, Kate and I can go hit the boat launch over here, maybe catch like three or four crabs and we can boil them together and, you know, do whatever we can. You know, keep it small, keep it simple, but get her out of the house, get her in the out, out in, the, in the world, get her out in the world and uh, show her what life is like in, uh, when you're not, um, you know, being told what to do and how to do it. You know what I'm saying? All right. So what's going on tonight? Anybody got anything going on, anything cool? Um, I will be here. <laughs> I will be here. Uh, Modern Mimes is going to be in town real soon. They'll be rehearsing here in the studio. You know what? Maybe we can figure out a way to give away a, a, a sneak preview if anybody wants to come in and watch, uh, watch some of uh, Modern Mimes rehearsal. We can, uh, we can give you a sneak preview. You come into the studio, sit down, have a beer with us, maybe sit down and chat with Modern Moms, get to know them a little bit, um, and that'll be a lot of fun because, uh, you know, they're great. I love me some Modern Moms. And uh, we might have some other fun things to do while they're in town as well, like some ghost hunting. If anybody's interested in, in uh, maybe some ghost hunting, hit me up as well because um, Ernesto from Modern Moms likes to do that stuff. He has his own ghost hunting show that uh, we're working on currently. And, uh, well, He's been working on it for a long time, and I just came into the pictures not too long ago, and we're going to do something together. So that'll be great for both of us, I think, and uh, we're going to move forward with everything. So if anybody's interested in being on any shows here in Crescent City Gumbo, doesn't matter what it is. You want to come and sit in the audience. You want to come and participate. That's great because we're going to be we're going to start doing some really silly stuff. We're going to start having fun with it. And, <laughs> yeah, I know you would, Ricky. Ricky likes that kind of stuff. Uh, we're going to start doing some some silly, some fun stuff. If I had a bigger studio, I'd have been doing it already. I just got to figure out how to make it happen in other places. And since Mark Williams, what's up, but Williams' son? Mark Williams on. <laughs> what's up, buddy? Uh, I've, since I got the mobile, mobile, the mobile broadcast rig is doing really well right now, it's much easier to show up somewhere else and do a show and then not have to move drums and move everything out of here. I can go set up inside my house. I was actually thinking about doing something from inside of the house as soon as I get the okay. Oh, man, you see it, buddy. We're just chatting about fun stuff, what's happening, what we can be doing, what we're probably not going to do, things like that. You know how it is. But uh, I'm thinking about setting up inside the house and do, like, shows on my sofa. Call it from the couch or, or I don't know, Crescent City Gumbo Raw, Crescent City Gumbo Uncut, like, you know, foreskin wallet kind of uncut. But that's for another day. But, uh, yeah, it's all fun and games. Drunk Fuck Friday. Well, I don't think we can do that. That's kind of on the verge of pornographic or probably, you know, balls deep into pornographic stuff, and we don't want to do that. So, And I, I like to keep it somewhat family-friendly, uh, fr family so I try not to um, get into that, that, that kind of stuff. You know that, man. But uh, we, can, we can find another day to do something, uh, something different, maybe play uh, uh, Drunk Drunk oil wrestling or jello, drunk jello twister. So we do twister while we're drinking in a swimming pool full of jello. How's that sound? Maybe we can find some contestants. You know, and the, the winner gets to eat the jello. I, I don't know. Or the loser has to eat the jello. Well, it just depends on how you look at it. It could be good either way. You know, ooh. So if we could make several gallons of jello shots. Instead of having just regular Jello wrestling, you have alcohol Jello wrestling. You know, like Jello shot wrestling. That'd be hot. You know what I'm saying? That'd be fun. Get a bunch of people going at it. Just it, they'd probably give up wrestling and just start drinking the juice in the bottom of the swimming pool. Yeah, and maybe we can do that. Drinking the juice Thursdays or drinking the juice Sundays or or Sunday Sunday Jello Sunday Jello wrestling. I don't know. We can do something. We'll figure it out. But um. I did volunteer to host, uh, to MC an event with um, some uh, lo little people, some midgets, uh, dwarfs. I I'm not sure which ones they're going to be using, but I did offer to do it. And, uh, yeah, I, I think it's going to be homosexual um, little people wrestling, jello wrestling. I, I want to I host that. I want to be a part of that. So we're kind of hoping that actually goes through. Uh, maybe, you know, it'll be fun. We talked about it. So who knows? Who knows? It'll be great. But you know what? Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. It's been a half an hour. We got to see the list. We got to talk and everything. It's time to get out of here. I'm out. Y'all have a wonderful freaking day, and uh, I hope you enjoyed your list of daily ingredients, and here's a little bit more of Jamie St. Pierre's Saki and Kisses. Y'all be good. Have a wonderful evening, and uh, later. <laughs>